My name is Dr. Charles Shule. I'm the radio doctor for CCFM. I'm interviewed by Wayne Turner on a Tuesday morning at 6.30, and it would be lovely if you could listen occasionally. The, the purpose of these programs is to really inform the general public about day-to-day -day common illnesses that can be managed partly by the patient in his family and then partly, partly with the doctor or other health professionals. Um, I have trained as a family physician, which means that I try and include the patient-centered approach wherever possible. Now, what that actually means is that the patient has the decision-making capacity. Um, the doctor informs him of his options, um, having diagnosed what he thinks may be wrong, but the patient makes a choice of whether he would like to follow through with a certain kind of treatment or procedure uh, and has more involvement in the decision-making process. Um, the patient-centered approach does involve the doctor um, and me trying to fulfill that role of ascertaining the patient's fears, their limitations, their own beliefs about their illness, and generally edu educate them and about gaps in their knowledge or misconceptions they might have. You will be amazed how many people don't actually have an understanding of the hypertension, for example, or diabetes. They've been on treatment for many years, but when asked about what is their understanding of it, they'll just say it's in the family. So it's, it's lovely if the doctor can explain in simple terms what high blood pressure is or what diabetes is, so that the person could go away feeling not just informed, but able to manage their own illness a bit better. It's quite frustrating if a patient has to take drugs all the time, not understanding how they work or what they do. Some of them go off their medication thinking that medication is giving them side effects, not realizing that the illness has certain negative effects. For example, with blood pressure, if you manage it well and keep it in certain normal limits, you're effectively preventing 10 other illnesses from developing in your body. The idea with family medicine is to use the multidisciplinary team wherever possible to, for example, refer to a social worker or psychologist or a nursing personnel to share the load of the illness because many illnesses are chronic. They keep on coming back. They don't go away and you need more than just the doctor to manage it. You also need a sympathetic specialist at hand and you also need to know when and when to to prepare a person to see a specialist, what can they what can they expect? Will medical aid pay, etc., etc. So the GP is a bit like a conductor of an orchestra. He or she is looking at the range of specialists, the range of other healthcare practitioners, and what they can offer. There is a large number of health workers out there who don't necessarily fit into the conventional mold, but nevertheless play a very important role in people's health care. They might offer nutritional advice, they might offer complementary medicine, they might even contradict doctors, but nevertheless um, they do play a role and one of the things the doctor's got to do is respect other health workers and to see what information will benefit the patient and what could confuse him or her. So my role as a GP is to empower the person with knowledge with information that they can use, not just highfalutin knowledge. So being a, a primary healthcare practitioner or general practitioner means that one has a broad knowledge, but not highly specialized knowledge. So sometimes I would refer a person, not for therapy as such, but just to get informed about the outlook of their condition. Sometimes the ill person is not worried about their condition, but a family member is worried so they will make contact with a GP and they would ask after that loved one or friend. This does raise issues around confidentiality, which is very much integral to the patient-centered approach. And where possible, we do have to respect the patient's wishes and get their consent, uh, even from an early age, for revealing very private personal information. So what can appear to be quite... Um, innocent questioning about the health of a friend or loved one could quickly be perceived by the loved one to be interference. So the wise doctor has to decide 
what is he going to reveal and what is he going to hold back to protect that person's integrity. Um, so in conclusion, I'd like to thank people for listening and to ask you to listen to our program interviewed by Wayne Turner every Tuesday morning at 630 and hope that you will make suggestions for our future programs.